Okay, so today I'm going to make a charcuterie to go box for the girls. We're going to go to Miami tonight and our flight is at night. So I just wanted to do kind of like a little midnight snack kind of thing. Let me show you. Okay, so I don't have that many things. I bought jalapeno Havarti cheese that and I'm going to cut it up. I bought hot color grease like that and two types of prosciutto. And then I got some baby bells here and pickles. Okay so let's get started. So I'm taking my hot color grease and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with it. So with this first piece, I think I'm going to make it into a cone shape and I'm just rolling it to the tip, to the corner to make one tip really pointy and the other very wide. The second piece, I decided, okay, I'm going to fold it in half and just kind of make it like a little rosebud. So you just keep rolling, rolling, rolling it until it's like a little rosebud. Now when it comes to making shakuri, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just go with the flow and see what looks good and so now I'm trying to cut it in half instead of making it like a whole roll just to see if I can make a cone shape doing halfway and it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to keep doing it this halfway just to see if I like it and if the shape will stay in place. So now I decided I think I'm just going to cut all of the hot color breeze in half just because it's easier to eat as well. I made another cute little rosebud because it's cute. And so cut, cut, cut. And that way you have more pieces of meat to eat. And you just continue to keep rolling it. One side pointy, one side a lot bigger. So a little cold. Okay, so to make this a little bit easier, I'm just taking one corner and making a triangle, just like so, and then just making sure one point is very pointy and the other one just kind of opens up like a cone. So you just keep rolling and rolling until you get kind of a little bouquet of cones or little tulips, I would call them as well. And they're just so simple and just takes a little practice so if you always want to practice a little bit more I would take like sheets of paper and just roll it up because it's basically like just like origami but with me <laughs> Fold it like that and just roll. roll the edges like that. Just keep rolling, 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 and then something like that. Let's see if we fold it differently. What if we fold it like that? It's cute. We get a little fan. Alright, so here I'm taking the hot color base and I'm just kind of making like a fan shape. And I think it looks super cute when you make about two or three or four of these. It turns out to be a really cute little fan. So you just kind of keep folding it like an accordion and voila! How cute is that? Alright, so it's time to cut the cheese! <laughs> Alright, so a little fun fact, I actually don't really like cheese, but when it comes to charcuterie, cheese is a must. Here, I'm just cutting it straight and thinly sliced. Alright, so I wanted to switch it up a little bit and figure out maybe I can cut the cheese a different way. Wasn't sure where I was going with this, but I decided to try to cut it evenly and now I'm gonna make cheese triangles
All right, so it's definitely okay if you make a mistake. I just kind of cut accidentally the tip of that cheese. But yeah, I wasn't really measuring it precisely. I was just kind of eyeballing it and trying to make it all the same size. And I think I did a pretty good job with that. Okay, so now the cheese is all done, it's time for prosciutto! So prosciutto is a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to find kind of the right prosciutto, but this one was a little bit flimsy, so I tried to make another fan into it. But what I had to do is I had to make it a little bit thicker because it was thinly sliced. So I turned it into another fan, making, folding it into an accordion and just spreading it out just like that. Alright, so my twin came down here just to talk a bit, but I'm just folding these prosciutto away, but they're looking pretty good. So now I'm making little, I wouldn't call it rosebud, but maybe kind of like rolls of the prosciutto. So with charcuterie, it does take a lot of time, but when you prepare it, it kind of... I get into my zone and it gets really relaxing just folding my meats, making my board. So now, there are going to be pieces where you don't really know, like, I don't know where I got that kind of leafy part from, but I kind of liked it, so I kind of just rolled with it. Okay darlings, just keep rolling and keep folding, we're almost there. Just trust this process and we are going to make our DOI charcuterie to go boxes. Alright, so now I'm going to put it all together in this little bowl here. I think I'm going to try to do all three at the same time that you can see, okay? So, first I'm going to do the prosciutto. I'm going to do one each here. So this is the fun part for me. I get to kind of just be creative and just put the boxes together with all of the meat and cheese and cracker that I made and just kind of see what fits the box and what looks pretty. So with the cheese, I kind of staggered it so that it was kind of like stairs and I thought this was really cute and something new that I kind of learned to do and you just kind of flip the triangles around.
Trust the process, darlings. Trust the process. I added these cute baby bells and of course, pickles, my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. And look at that green. It just looks so nice adding a little bit of greenery. So I decided to change all the baby bells and use the black ones, so... And the overall aesthetic looked really nice to me. Alright, so we're all done with the DUI Shikuri to go box. I'm so happy at how this turned out. is how I make a to-go shikuri box. Pretty cute. Honestly, it's the first time I've made <laughs> something like this and I think it's super cute, super compact. I wish I put a little bit more like fruits and stuff in it. I would put like grapes, an apple, oh my goodness. But this it will do for now and it's looks really yummy. So I hope the girls like it. And honestly, I just rolled up whatever I had and yeah so we're gonna take this on our flight tonight and just eat it for a midnight snack i hope the girls like it it was super easy to make and there you go your DUI shikuri box to go